Hey guys, welcome back to the series. I'm Adi and today we'll take our layout and make it responsive. Uh, and we'll begin with, well, the actual layout and we'll continue with the navigation. Okay, so let's start with this. Uh, if we resize, and I gotta say this is, uh, the form you see right here is optimized for a width of 1200 pixels. If we resize it, we we'll get to our first breakpoint. And as you can see, the sidebar doesn't look so hot. So what we need to do is uh, maintain the width of the sidebar and make the, um, the article section a bit smaller. So for that, I uh, went ahead and added two things to our layout. One of them is, now let me just scroll down, I added the class of article container fix to, to the main span that contains the articles. And also I added the class of main sidebar to the aside element. Okay, so let's get cracking. Scroll all the way down to, to the styles.less file. We'll create a new section. We'll call it media queue. Okay, and we'll begin by adding another rule. So smaller than 1200, okay. Okay, and this, uh, what we put here will target this state. So we'll start with this main sidebar will return it to its original width of uh, 270 pixels. So width 270 pixels. And also will preserve its original margin left of 30 pixels. Okay. And the last thing, article container fix. Let's make this one, let's give it a width of 640 pixels okay so now uh, the article area is smaller and the sidebar is the same width as it was previously and that means it will preserve uh, you know this the widgets in their original form and all the other elements okay uh, so this is it actually for the first break let's move on the second one is something like this. Now, this one will be between 768 and 959. Okay, so it's basically a tablet portrait size. Okay, first thing, <clears throat> excuse me, we will hide the sidebar. Okay, so display none. Okay, so that is gone right now. Uh, the very next thing is to uh, get rid of, um, let's see, not get rid of, but change the article container. So we're going to say article container fix. Okay, we're going to change its width to match the remaining uh, space. So let's do a quick inspect. Okay, so div with a class of row, it's 744. We also have a margin left of 20 pixels. So the remaining width will be 724 pixels. All right. Let's give it a, let's see how it looks like. Pretty good. All right, not bad. All right, so the next step is the navigation. This one's a bit tricky. So what we want to do is hide it um, and instead just show a button that's going to say, you know, select the page or something like that. And when we click that button, uh, we're going to have a slide. Yeah, the new menu will slide uh, from that button. Okay, so let's see how we can do that. Uh, first of all, let's go back to our uh, markup and add a few elements. 
So right here, just below the top menu navigation, I'm going to do uh, A with a class of small button uh, blue. And let's give it an ID of responsive or RWD mm, top nav BTN button. Okay. And I was going to say select a page. Below that, I'm going to do a div with a class of RWD top nav. Okay. No content whatsoever. All right. We'll copy this. And we'll do the same for the main navigation below nav, paste it. And I'm just going to change this to main, main, and main. All right. So now we have a couple of buttons here that uh, really we just need to show uh, when we get to this page size. So let's go to styles. And mm, let's do a section here called responsive, or let's do this. And we're going to say something like this, RWD top nav button and RWD main nav button, okay, um, along with RWD top nav and RWD main nav display none. Okay, so we're hiding everything. Um, BTN, sorry. Okay, so we're hiding those. Um, the next step, right here, uh, we're also going to hide the main navigation. So we're going to say top nav. Uh, hold on, top menu navigation, sorry. Top menu navigation and also main navigation display none. So we got rid of them. Instead, we're just going to show the uh, the buttons. So RWD, top nav BTN, and RWD main nav BTN display inline block. Okay, let's do a margin for them 1M0. Not bad. So we have normal navigation and then buttons. Okay, great. Now the next step is when we click this button, the content below it is going to slide. So to do that, we need jQuery. I already downloaded jQuery and I'm going to create a new file called scripts.js. Okay, now in index.html, I also included or referenced these two files, so jQuery and scripts. Okay, so now in scripts, we're going to do this. Actually, let's start like this. So jQuery document dot ready. It's a function. All right, so uh, what do we need? <clears throat> when we click, so jQuery, so when we click the RWD top nav BTN, click, okay, we can pass in a function with a 
parameter. So we can pass in the actual event. And the next thing is going to be event prevent default. And that's going to nullify um, every uh, like default action that button might have. And we're just going to focus that button specifically for uh, toggling the top menu. Okay, and next we're going to say jQuery. Uh, that and we'll reference the rwd top nav slide toggle okay well now it's not showing anything because we don't have any content inside it but you know we can just add some gibberish to see if it works and it does Okay, do the same for the main navigation. Okay, main nav, add some content. Okay, another gibberish. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's get rid of the uh, dummy content. And before moving on, I just want to explain one quick thing. Uh, normally, when you use jQuery, uh, you're uh, selecting elements like this, yeah? Uh, right here, I used jQuery instead of, instead of the uh, dollar sign. They're one and the same. But what I, I did this because I want to prepare this file for WordPress. Um, if you're going to include uh, this file in WordPress, it's going to work fine. But if you're going to change jQuery to the dollar sign, it's not going to work fine because WordPress um, includes Word, uh, includes a jQuery in something that's called a no conflict mode. And, you know, it's a long story. Uh, I'll uh, provide the necessary links at uh, when the time comes. But for now, just know that if you're preparing something for WordPress and you're working with jQuery, always use this selector. All right, uh, enough with the um, with the jQuery. Let's um, let's move on to the next step, and that is to clone this menu in this div. All right, because it's no point like hard coding the menu. It's useless. You cannot maintain two menus, especially uh, since menus in WordPress are dynamic. So what we're going to do is when the page loads, we're going to copy the exact structure of the menu and we're going to append it to this div. OK, so we're going to do this jQuery. OK, and let's grab the top menu navigation ul first child so we're getting the first list and we'll do clone and after that we'll do append to um, rwd top nav let's see it there it is perfect and we'll do the same for the main navigation So main navigation, first child, clone, append to RWD main nav. And there it is. All right, one final step here is to actually style these two. So let's go to styles. Okay, we're going to copy this. And we'll target the list items. Okay. okay, so the list items, first of all, uh, the links must be white. So color, it's gonna, oops, it's gonna be white. Okay, and what else? Let's do like a hover state.
actually this is um, mostly for touch devices so hover state is not really necessary all right let's target the nested lists um, margin left let's do like a tree structure margin left we'll do like two m's okay and also margin bottom so let's do this top zero right zero bottom zero and left is two m's great next since this is like will be shown mostly on touch interfaces let's space out these list items a bit so i'm gonna do a margin bottom of one and a half m's uh, maybe that's a bit too much one m i think is enough and also the margin top for this nested list should be the same okay so that's much better okay uh, the very next step style the this one this list so I'm gonna copy this Okay, RWD main nav. Color on this is gonna be link color. And that's pretty much done actually. Okay, cool. So let's see what else we can do around here. the rest looks pretty good and I think we're uh, I think we're okay for this video uh, we did the uh, the first two breakpoints this one and this one and we also did the navigation which was probably the hardest part Okay, so in the next video, we'll take care of the rest. We'll take care of this. Yeah, see if everything uh, is displayed properly, even on a very low width like this. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.